So here we are again, uh, spring 2021, 22nd of February today. Um, this little show in Maple was started as an air layer, or sort of ground layer also if you, if you like, to try and improve the base. It uh, wasn't very good around the back, there was a big scar and it was never ever going to really do what I wanted it to do. It's got some taper and it will eventually make quite a handsome little tree but it needed some drastic work. So this was started last late last spring and now we're gonna have a little look and see what route it's made. So it's, it's made some good roots, only, uh, it's only two years since it was actually repotted and then one year for this and this is actually not just falling away so there's plenty of root in there which is good. So we'll now start to, to comb it out and see what we have. So that's just a rough, rough rake out, taking the worst off of the edge and the worst out of there. And now I'm going to, with some water and a brush, brush out some of this moss and see what we have. So we've got it. So when it came down now, much better, taking a bit of a lump off of the the bottom so that we can get it tilted over at an angle. It'll be nice to put it back in the, the old pot, but it's what we want to do at the moment, it's not really deep enough. So one wall saw pot out and one wall saw pot in. This way we can anchor it in there. Keep it over to one side and then get the surface of the soil up around where we want it to be. These fine roots will hopefully then all thicken up in the next two or three years and then we can think about getting it lower again in, in another pot. So drainage mesh in, tiny, tying in wire in. I'm not going to get anything on the, that side because there's nothing there so we'll just be careful with the tree. So a bit of medium in the bottom, mainly because we've got such big tying in holes in the pot. And then plenty of fine. I'm going to nestle it down to get that soil medium right up underneath and into the root. Making sure these are flared out. I think we'll put a staple on that one possibly.
sort of roughly round. Then I tap, not on the side, if you can help it, because you're likely to smash it, but on the corners. If you've got dry Akadama, then it should sit down quite nicely. We've got quite a gap under here. I'm going to pile up a little bit of Akadama there, and then at the end of the repot we'll sphagnum moss all the top, which will fill in all that top. And uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more, more rooting. So we'll give that a water and then put some moss on the top. So nearing the completion, the last little bit of moss put on, tuck it in, and this will help the surface roots retain moisture, because these are the roots that we uh, are most worried in. Yeah, I expect the birds will uh, chuck it all about later in the spring, but and now, and it will stop any cold nights that we get from getting too far into the pot. But it will stay in here with my tokenoma for the next probably about three weeks. And uh, we hope now that this will, will all thicken up. It's going to take a while. Everything in Bombay takes a while, but it will be a nice little show in and then once we're, we'll give it a, a year of free, free rain to grow, especially these to grow that are near that side of those roots, let them just do what they want and then from next year we'll start cutting it right back and then start pinching it up a little bit to uh, start it on its road to being a nice little tree. So we'll revisit this one next spring and see where it's at. Thank you for watching.